What ho, you spastic little gremlins! Chaification here, bringing you another TFT gameplay on. Oh, oh bugger, I can't remember what it's called. It's something like Borad, or. I don't know, something like that. Uh, yeah. Take that, you bloody spies. Anyway, so yes, we're on, we're on some sort of payload map. I don't know which one it is, uh, but we're, we're playing payload. So here we go, and I'm playing as a sniper. We're rocking around with the boom headshot. We're rocking around with the huntsman, which is his bow and arrow. And we love playing with the and the headshot. We love playing with the bow and arrow. It's so much fun. This thing is. Uh, oh Christ, heavies! <laughs> Although you're not too good against a heavy with Natasha, but I do manage to live, which is fine. Which I don't care. However, I unfortunately didn't get an arrow in him because our sentry hunter took him down. Anyway, uh, this is going to be another kind of semi-dual gameplay sort of things. We started off uh, attacking, no, we were sorry, we were defending, and it didn't last very long. But we had some pretty good gameplay. It was okay. It was obviously, it's not fantastic. None of my gameplays are that fantastic, um, but it was pretty good. We had some good headshots in it, so I decided I'd keep it, and we can make the video a couple of minutes longer. And then once we finish off, we move on to a um, another attacking. So here we are. I joined the game sort of midway through, um, and I start recording towards the end. And at the moment, we're defending capture point C at the moment. And there's not a lot going on. There's not many people on the server today. There's there's about six aside or something like that, which is okay because I've never actually played this map before. And I think if I was had you know, 12 aside or, or 16 aside. I think I would have done god awful because I wouldn't have the bloody clue where anyth where anybody is or what is going on. So it was quite good starting off at uh, a decent pace. So there's not 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 too much going on at the moment, really. We oh, that was a cracking head shot. We've got a fair amount of attacking going on, but like I said, because there's a few people, it's kind of difficult to find to find the team. So we've got a uh, an engineer posted on the last point and that's fine really you know, I'm happy with that, we can uh, we can fanny about all we like now there is the occasional irritating attack from corners and things like that which I have to try and deal with with the Huntsman considering uh, our other team consists of a couple of demo men or maybe even one demo man, I think we've even got another sniper with the Huntsman we did get, I did hear a demo man calling for a spy there but I did fire one, I believe we've also got a, we've got a heavy and a, and a soldier we've got a fairly balanced team uh, but a lot of the attacks seem to come through this corner there. We did get a nice shot on a... Uh, I think that was a sniper I got there. Yeah, there's a body and there's a heavy there as well. <laughs> but I have to go in to investigate just to make sure there's no one else down there. So, with the Huntsman... Do I prefer the Huntsman to the sniper rifle? <sighs> to an extent. Sometimes it does get a little bit dull with the sniper rifle. As much as I love the sniper rifle, it does get a little bit dull after a while when you're having to constantly... You know, you can't really run in as much as you can with the Huntsman. Because you know, the sniper rifle's obviously got a nice shot on her. I think I killed a demo man there rather than the actual pyro. But, yeah, I find the sniper rifle, if you want to just have a nice relaxing game, we got taken out of there. Anyway, I'll carry on on my tangent in a moment. I'll just explain what's going on. So we kick off uh, the next part of the game with a pyro trying to deface my spray. And this is us attacking now. Anyway, as I was saying, with the sniper rifle, it's okay. I don't mind it. I just find it's a bit easier and a bit more fun to run in with the Huntsman and you've got a bit more uh, field of view. You can kind of see what's going on a bit more. You can tell who is a spy a bit, a bit easier. So here we go. We're kicking off. At the moment we are attacking... I don't even know if this is B or A. I think it's A. There seems to be a lot of signs pointing that it's A. Yes, it's A. So we're trying to attack A at the moment. We've got still about six or seven aside, and at the moment I'm just trying to hold back some of these soldiers. There's, there's only two of them up here, but I do get a nice hit there because I believe I gerated him. But I get a hit, but sadly it doesn't kill him. And we do have a <laughs> we have a sniper aiming at me, and he doesn't notice the pyro coming up next to him. So we have a bit of I have a little bit of a fight here, but he runs off regardless. And this is the one thing that irritates me about uh, the huntsman is how you can't shoot it in midair. I can understand that it's very difficult to shoot in midair. Um but you know, I think 
it's still very annoying because a lot of times when you do get flung in the air you can shoot the guy back now the reason I showed that little bit there with a heavy was simply because I wanted to show off some stupidity I often come across as a pyro of using that flipping air blast Kavin shot up by a heavy there and he just decides to randomly air blast it's completely pointless in my eyes but here we go, little duel with the with a soldier boom we get you I do enjoy using the bushwhacker actually it's very useful because a lot of the time if you've got Gerati on you you tend to throw it if someone's near you anyway, if it's on, you know, if it's off cooldown. But I do get taken out by a fucking pyro there. But yeah, it's a lot easier to fling off your Gerati first, because obviously it helps everyone else around you, and it in increases the damage slightly. And if you've got your bushwhacker out, that sounds, <laughs> sounds rather rude there if you've got your bushwhacker out, but if you do have it out, it does give a crit on a on Gerati people, so it is really useful. So here we go, me and a heavy taking point B here. We ignored A briefly. We decided let's go for B instead. I can hear a pyro there, but I do see an engineer. Get a nice headshot on him, but I did hear a pyro. And there he is, getting a spy that was just for whatever reason looking out a window at us. And I do go off to investigate. Is he still there? Is he still there? Do I really want to go around? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll leave him. <sighs> Shame, really. It would have been quite fun to kill a pyro. But yes, I'm not really. I'm not running the, uh, the the shield thing, whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called now. But I'm not running that at the moment. I am running around with Gerati because there is something unbelievably satisfying about lobbing a bottle of piss at someone. Um, obviously, because that's not the sort of thing you do in this day and age. So to do it on a game is just as good. Here we go. Hello, sniper there. Too busy waving, and I get in point blank range with the bow and arrow. I have renamed my bow and arrow. Um, I could, Huntsman, that's the one. I have renamed it to that bow from that film because there's quite a few bows in quite a few films and I decided I'd rename it something stupid. But the one thing I do love about Huntsman is when you do pin up, pin someone up against the wall. It's hilarious. And you're running around you just suddenly see someone hanging by their hand or by their neck or something strange. So we try and chase down this demo man. But he does go off into there. I decide maybe not. We've just captured the point. We may as well get on with attacking. He's too busy running away. To worry about what I'm doing, so I'm going to continue forward. Now I get a little bit paranoid about Spy, but I do notice he is wearing his Saharan kit, so I tend to ignore him. He does get sniped as well. There's a sniper at the other end of that hallway. I do knock off a fire up there just, just to try and, you know, try and do something. We do hit him there, but we don't kill him. But I do find it does give a pretty good damage. The Huntsman does, and you can always tell when he hits someone because there is an arrow sticking out of somebody somewhere whether it's the face or the leg or whatever but there is usually something now here I do die unfortunately I do try and get to the health but the heavy does beat me to it sorry I have an itch in my ear I had the heavy does beat me to it unfortunately and I die and I have to come back again so here we go we're running back through through A I believe coming back to where we were just now now unfortunately I do die again rather quickly here however I do get a good hit on the on someone. I think I could have been lying. I'm not sure if this is this part or not. But I do see a spy, and I am just flinging arrows out at the moment to see if I can hit anyone. There we go. I get sniped, but I also take out the sniper with the arrow. And isn't that one of the best kill cams you can get when you've got the guy and then you see him dead as well? You know, if he's just killed you, that's always satisfying. So this time I decide I want to attack from B. And I would game's coming to a close now, but I thought I might come off from a different direction to see if I can flank anyone. And I do end up coming off on a good side, no one knows I'm there, I am behind the whole team, but I don't get any kills from it because it is somewhat awkward to hit people. And there we go, game ends. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay, I know there wasn't a lot of action going on, but I did enjoy the gameplay, I thought it was good fun. Here we go, let's just kill the engineer. You know the drill guys, rate, subscribe, do what you wish, and I'll just see you when I see you. Ah, Broma, that's what it's called.